What is up? I am here with round one of the regional tournament and I posted a team builder a little bit earlier and we are just getting straight into it. I am sorry about bringing a stall team, but it actually looks like he had the exact same idea and he actually brought the Gengar, which is really bad for me. Uh, but this is going to be really interesting because I don't play stall, so I don't know the stall versus stall matchup very well. Uh, so, gosh. I assume the uh, tentacruel is for toxic, toxic spikes and uh, rapid spin as well. I kind of want to just lead off with my Mew, try to get up some spikes for myself. Yeah, so that's kind of what I expected. I can also sidekick him which would actually be really good because uh, prevent him from doing stuff in the future. And if he wants to status me, he will get it right back. So I can just set up my stealth rocks here. I assume he'll do the same. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, the good thing is he doesn't have a ditto. So if I set up with something, he won't be able to do anything back. So I don't want to Will-O-Wisp this. Uh, I think the only thing I would really want to Willow is the Snorlax. Uh, I kind of want Toxic on this thing. So, going out to Chansey right here might be my play. <clears throat> and yeah. Ooh, he might be Magic Guard. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll figure out right here, but he seems to have the same idea as me. If he is Magic Guard though, the good thing about that is, all right, we'll find out here. Gosh, <laughs> all right. Uh, good thing about that is I do have a Ditto and uh, I do have my own Calm Mind Clef. So as long as he doesn't have something, uh, and I'm also unaware, which is incredible. So I win this matchup as long as he doesn't have uh, something like Toxic. So I get a wish off right here. Uh, my Snorlax is gonna be really, really great in this matchup. Uh, I think I wanna go straight out into, all right, that was a good play. So I see that he has the Haze. So cursing up on him might not be, uh, I might not have the chance to do that, but I threaten him with Earthquake, so if I can get rid of his uh, of his Toxic Spiker, that would be really great. Uh, and he also doesn't have very good switch-ins to this. So, I still have Defog on my side. So that's really great. And I can just set up some Curses here and then frustrate this Zapdos. Uh, he could have Toxic, which would really put a damper on my day. If I would have had immunity on this, yeah. Uh, but the great thing is I do have rest. So I think I can curse here. <clears throat> Expecting him to roost. How much did frustration do last time? 54%. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so he subs. That's fine, honestly. Uh, T-Bolt, I'll take one, and then I can get the rest off. So he's going to try to stall out my PP, probably. Uh, he's sub-pressure Zapdos, which is frustrating, but uh, I don't think I burn PP when I... Yeah, so this is great. Tricks me, that's bad. <laughs> uh, so I'll be locked into Earthquake here. And this is actually really terrible, and I should have expected that and done something about that. Uh, but I didn't. So I'm stuck in an earthquake now. Uh, but I do still think my Snorlax will be able to do something in this matchup. I might be able to try to bring in something else to uh, trick it back. Uh, the unfortunate thing, though, is my... Clefable is not Magic Guard. So I can't switch in on the Toxic Spikes. Yeah. 
Now the reason I did that is because I was really afraid of, uh, I was just really afraid of uh, like some setup sweeper because I didn't think he was going to bring stall versus me as well. So uh, I don't know, I might break his sub on this, it, assuming he's fizz def. Yeah, and that lets me go out into my Chansey. I can heal Bell for my Zapdos. <clears throat> but uh, pressure stalling me is really going to hurt. So, and I only have eight heal bells, so I have to be smart about using these. I do have natural cure on my Chansey, which is great, but I can just break his sub, uh, and this doesn't allow the sub. However, that does invite the Gengar out, yeah. So, I'm going to go back out into my Snorlax, hopefully. Oh! He tricked himself the choice card back. All right, in that case, I'm going to go out to my ditto. That's like the biggest blessing because Snorlax is so important in this matchup. Uh, <clears throat> so assuming he wants to switch out now, I'm going to trick my choice scarf onto him. <clears throat> Please go out to like Zapdos because Zapdos can be a really big problem for this. Uh, this is such an interesting matchup because Stall versus stall is just like, <laughs> who can be, who can outlast the opponent for a longer period of time? And this is great because I just tricked my choice card onto his Snorlax. <laughs> so we're kind of seeing like a repetition of like things happening, you know? Uh, I tricked my choice card onto his thing. He tricks his onto mine. So now I have a figgy berry on my, uh, on my uh, the ditto, which is honestly great. So anytime, uh, so what I really want to do is get out my Chansey here, actually, so I can uh, heal bell my Zapdos now. Anytime his Gengar comes out, though, like I know for certain that I want to go into ditto. <clears throat> so I can just. So I know he's Choice Scarf. I can defog him or I can toxic him. Uh, anything that comes out is going to get, okay, that was a smart play. Uh, going out into his own mute to take the toxic. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of my toxic spikes or his toxic spikes though. Uh, I do like having the toxic on the Mew though. And he's nasty plot Mew, which can be dangerous. Uh, but holy cow. Uh, he's Genesis Supernova. So he might run Flamethrower on his. So the, the interesting thing is since this is Gen 1, like there aren't really any dark types. So that's actually a really, really great set. Uh, my Chansey is great because it walls the Zapdos. Uh, my Clefable can win, especially if I get rid of the uh, Tentacruel. Uh, Mew can set up rocks. Zapdos is important. Uh, Ditto is my... Ditto makes sure nothing gets uh, a Choice Scarf. And if I lose Ditto, I think the best thing to do would be go out into my own Mew. But this might give me setup. I'm surprised he didn't bring a Chansey. So if he wants to kill my own Mew, or like go for another, uh, oh that stinks that he got the special defense job. If he wants to go for uh, another nasty plot or something, I get in my ditto. Unfortunately, I'm not uh, choice scarfed anymore, so I don't definitely outspeed him. Uh, but trying to decide if I want to set up my rocks or just soft boiled here. I think I just want to soft boiled and lead. And he's getting every single drop. Uh, <clears throat> so if I go into my ditto, I should be able to live one and he should lose his Mew. Uh, don't be sorry for the hit hacks. <laughs> I noticed we didn't even put like battle timer on or anything. Uh, 
I, I try to be a good guy. I, I usually get a... Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to go into my ditto. I also don't want to lose it to the scarf. Uh, if I lose Mew, I lose my rocks. I don't want too much damage on Snorlax. Uh, I need my heal beller, definitely. I might just have to lose my... Uh, I just have to lose my Mew. I don't know if that's the best play that might come back to bite me in the butt. This can be really bad against his Gengar. Uh, what's his Gengar's item right now? Let me see. Gengar. Because uh, if his Gengar has a Choice Scarf right now, which I believe he does, he will trick it onto my, uh, onto my Snorlax. Let's see. I'm going to go out into Chansey and try to get the soft boiled up. Uh, <clears throat> I think his best play right here is to Shadow Ball, expecting me to go into my ditto. But yeah, I just couldn't. Like, I definitely needed... Uh, I needed this. So this is kind of a 50-50 here. I could trick expecting him to want to go out into his Snorlax. Uh, alternatively, I can go out into... I think going into my chance is my best play. If I Shadow Ball him, I kill him, but that also gives him a free switch into Snorlax. And I don't think Gengar can really two hit KO me. I might lose my Eviolite. Okay. Cool. Uh, him going Snorlax, he has, he's stuck with a Choice Scarf right now. So I don't know if anything he can do will kill me. So let's just see. Uh, let's just assume he has max attack. And I want to go versus my Chansey. And I still have my Eviolite. Yeah, frustration should not kill me unless he crits. And I don't know <laughs> I don't know if I want to risk that. So let's just see Clefable right here. Uh Clefable can take two or in crits. Uh I think I just want to go for soft boiled. Alright, yeah. That's the best play. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> if I go into my ditto and he tricks, I'm going to, he'll get the choice scarf. If I go into ditto and he shadow balls, let's see. I don't want him shadow balling my Ditto. Or if he really shadows my shadow balls my ditto, is it that much of a problem? If he tricks me, that's a big problem. Uh, I think I have to go ditto. And if he shadow balls, like good play, you get rid of my ditto. But like, yeah, I think <laughs> I think I like having like I don't know which item I want. So I think he's locked into trick now because he just choice scarfed. Uh, so. I'm going to go straight for the Shadow Ball. Alright, sweet. So we get rid of his Gengar, which is a really big uh, threat to this team. And I have my Choice Scarf on uh, on my Ditto, but that's not helpful because I won't always have Trick. So it's actually probably not really helpful. I just wanted to get rid of his Gengar so he couldn't trick a Choice Scarf onto me. Yeah, it would be a lot better if I had... Uh, had a figgy berry, I think. Uh, so I just don't want him to sub right here. So I'm just gonna go for Shadow Balls. That's fine. Uh, he can go Snorlax. His Snorlax is stuck with... Uh, he's stuck into a move. So if he wants to... I only have one Shadow Ball left. He's uh, choice, choice locked into a move. So if he wants to go for Earthquake and knock me out, uh, that's fine. I actually might want to keep my Ditto in case he goes Clefable and sets up. Uh, Zapdos can be good for Toxic Stalling. Uh, his own Zapdos. And Chansey will lift two of whatever he goes for. Uh, good play. I'm just going to not let him sub though. And this next one will kill him. So he's going to have to switch out here. So, uh, 
this lets in my Clefable. I can just go for a Wish. Uh, he's probably going to bring out his Tentacruel, which he usually brings out. Mm -hmm. And that lets me get in my, uh, my Snorlax. And right here, I think I might just set up and win the game. Because even if he Scald Burns me, I have uh, Curse and Earthquake. <clears throat> if he lets me set up, I'll take the setup. Uh, if not, I think I just set up on the next Mon to come in. Yeah, so <clears throat> I don't think he has any moves that can really hurt me too much. So yeah, Facade, I can just start setting up curses. Uh, I don't want to lose too many in case the Zapdos tries to pressure stall me. There we go. <clears throat> so there, and then he's a uh, magic guard, so frustration will probably kill because I'm at a lot. Yeah. So awesome. We win that game and kind of a tough matchup uh, due to the fact that it was kind of like stall versus stall and like I'm not a real big stall player so I kind of had to make some plays. I think the biggest thing, if he did not continue uh, going for trick, I think, uh, and, and I was stuck with a choice scarf. Wait. This guy didn't expect stall either. So like, he, he, he was thinking the same thing as me. If he didn't trick the Choice Scarf back off of my Snorlax, I definitely would have lost. So I don't think he should have gone for the trick uh, because I could, I could make that play. And that was just like a blessing because I might have lost. So. Thank you all for watching this and uh, check out the next round, which will be Gen 2. Peace.